Hey guys, um, so in this tutorial video, I want to explain the distinction between looking up a field from another table and filtering on a field from another table. So in this, you know, really quick report I put together, basically what you see is you see a list of item transactions, the items that I shipped in this date range. And you can see I've got some sales returns kind of down here at the bottom as well. But anyway, um, let's summarize to say it. I've got a list of item transactions. Now, I might not. I might want to know where did this item ship to? What was the ship to country region code? That's the piece of information that I want. Now, if you recall, when you work with data dumps, um, which is effectively what's going on in this report. Um, you use an NF function to say, go to this record here and pull the field that I want to see. Um, and if you don't remember exactly how an NF function works or what it is and a data dump and all that stuff, I've blogged about it and I'll include a link to it um, in the blog post so you can see that. In any event, I'll put in my NF function. In my field dropdown, I can see all of the fields from the item ledger entry table and if I ask myself, what was the ship? Oh, ship to is not a field. What about anything? I mean, there's country region code, but more specifically, I want the ship to country region code. I don't have that information. Right? I mean, I could maybe country region code is right, but you know, I am I get paid to do this. I can't afford to guess. Does that make sense? So what I'll say is I know that the ship to country region code is on the sales shipment header document. I need to look up this piece of information in a different table. And to look up information in another table, you'll always use an NL first. Now, what does an NL first function do? Let's read the description. The description says the NL first finds the first record or field that matches filter criteria. Okay, so what do I want? I want to go to the sales shipment header and what piece of information am I looking for? I'm looking for the ship to country region code. That's what I need to know. Now again, let's revisit the first function. What does the NL first function do? It finds the first record or field that matches the filter criteria. What are my filter criteria? I currently don't have any. So it's going to tell me that the first record in the entire table is Great Britain. But I don't want to know the first record in the entire table. What I really want to know is what is the ship to region code of this document, Ida, uh, document number 12001, on that sales shipment document, what was the country region code? And it just happens to be Great Britain. Go figure. Let's run this report and see our results. So as I run this report, I've got a couple Great Britons, I've got a, a Germany, I've got a couple Australias, okay? I can see where this sales shipment document was sent. And this is a classic example of looking up data in another table. Um, just really, you know, just so you have one more example, if I wanted to know what was the gross weight of this item, I'd have to look up that information in the item table, again, because gross weight is not on the item ledger entry. So again, I'll go into my um, function wizard and I'll say, okay, give me the first record in the item table. What do I want to see? I want to see gross weight. Now it says gross weight is zero. The gross weight of what? What are my filter criteria? I haven't filtered yet. So I need to say, okay, well filter where the item number is equal to widgets or whatever that actually is. And it tells me the gross weight is actually 15.99. Hey, guess what? If you wanted to know the description of this item, you would literally copy paste and do the same thing. Change out gross weight and I want the description of this, uh, oh, it's a swivel chair, just kidding. Okay, 
So this is an example of looking up data in another table. Notice we didn't filter. I haven't filtered to say I only want to see Great Britain or I only want to see items where the gross weight is less than five, whatever the unit of measure this is. Does that make sense? So this is an example of looking up data in another table using NL filter. And then next we're going to talk about how do I actually limit my results to showing just Great Britain.